Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to go through how to set up the automations in the entire funnel with Zapier. So there are a couple of things that we need to do. The first thing is that we will need to log into Zapier and the login details should be listed here so it's easy for you to log in. I've already done that so I have Zapier open in this window. Then I want to set up the required saps and in order to make this as simple as possible for you we've created a templates or the templates uh, that you need to simply copy. So the first thing that you want to do is create a new folder with a client name. This should be listed here and in this example and this video tutorial is Harold Roy and my name. So we're going to go over to Zapier and you may wonder where's the menu. Uh, in this version the menu is on the left side and you need to hover over it and the first thing that we want to do is open saps that will open all the tem all the folders and all show all the saps available and then you have templates we want to open this one and we want to duplicate both of these ones you can see that you want to open and duplicate new lead and new booking so that's what we're going to do the way to do that is to click the uh, the, the down arrow and then copy. We do that for both of them uh, like so. And copy. So now you can see that you have both of them copied. We then want to uh, create the new folder. So we click on the plus icon and we create the folder with the name of the client. What we then want to do is we want to click on the down arrow again and move to folder and then find the folder that you just created for me it's Harold and then move the folder and select Harold again I see that I duplicated twice so I'm just going to trash this extra one so we have duplicated and we've moved if we then go over to this one you can see that both of them are created and are added in here so let's check with the guide so we have set up the saps and we move them to the correct folder now we want to open the folder as I've done and we want to edit the SAP new lead. So new lead, we're going simply going to click it. So you select it and this is how it looks. Now let's see what do we need to do. The first thing is that we need to copy the webhook. Zapier is created in such a way that you have triggers and you have actions. So the first, uh, first line here, the first element is the trigger. So when this happens, Number one, catch hook. Then do this and do this and do this. So we're going to copy the hook, web hook. So we need to open this one and we need to open customize hook. You can see that there is a customized web hook URL. We want to copy this one. You can either click on the copy button or you can mark it all and click copy. So we copied that one. Then we need to log into Converti because we need to add that web hook to the funnel form where people add their contact details. So you can open Converti. I've already logged in. So you log in, you open Bureau Kunder, you click on funnels and you select the funnel that is listed here. And I'm looking for the funnel called Booking Bureau Ventures. So it's here. I then click on the editor and then on the left side I need to open pop-ups. If you don't see it uh, from the get go you need to click on content and pop-ups. Then I open the default pop-up. This opens the pop-up with a form that is shown. We want to then click the form and then on the left side you can see settings webhook URL. This is where we want to paste the webhook so that once someone submits their first name and email and click on the button then they need or then the hook or the data will be pushed to the Zapier then we click on save and publish now we need to add or change the action so that we have now added that when someone subscribes we need to push them to move send so the way we do that is that we click on done editing for the catch hook and then we open the create subscriber in Moosend. We then need to click on choose account and wait for it to load. There will be a drop down here and you want to click on add new account. 
This will open a pop-up window where they will request a API key. It will give it a couple of seconds to load, like so. What we then need to do is we need to log into MooSend. The, the login details will be shown here. So I'm going to open that one. I'm going to copy paste the login details and log in. Once you're logged in, you need to click on the menu on the very top right corner and API key. This is the API key that you need to paste. So we need to click on copy API key and then I will open the pop-up and paste it and click yes continue. We will then go back to Zapier and make sure that it is selected the right account. So highbureauventures.com and it's also highbureauventures.com. So it's correct. So now we've added the API key. Now we need to customize the subscriber. The way we do that is we click continue. Now under choose account, you will find subs customize subscriber. And now we're doing this and we're changing the new lead. So we need to make sure that the list is selected to leads and not bookings. This looks correct. So we'll click continue. We will skip any test and once it looks good and this is done loading, we will activate the SAP and the automation that we now just created. So it's skipped and then we click on done editing and at the very bottom it has the option to the SAP is ready, turn it on and click turn on. This will take a couple of seconds and you will see in the top right corner that you have a green on. You can then click go back and you will see that it's also shown as on here. Now we need to edit the booking. So we will open that one in the same way and according to the guide and the process, we need to edit the trigger. And we need to customize the profile file and select Bureau. So let's do that. So we open the booking, we click on choose account, choose account, and we need to select the correct account. Then we go in the customize booking and profile and select Bureau. Bureau like so. We click on continue and we click on skip test. All of these are tested from before so it should work off the right off the bat. So for another, we click done editing. Now we need to edit the action. In the same way as we did with the new booking app, we need to change the uh, or make sure that the subscriber is added correctly. So we click on this one we need to choose account and we see that this is the one that I added earlier. So we're going to select that one. And we need to make sure that list is bookings and email and name is added from before, uh, as is. We then click continue. It will take some time to load and we will click skip test. And then we should be able to see the done editing button. We will click that one and activate this app. And that's the way we do this. So I'm going to, for the video purposes, refresh this page in order to for it to load properly. So like so, booking, okay. we we'll click on the done editing and we're going to turn the app on. This may take a couple of seconds. It may take, or it may activate automatically or right on immediately, uh, but be patient. It may take some time as we see now. 
The way to make sure that both of them are on is that we go back to the folder and we will see that both of them are green. So there, these are the steps that you need to do when creating and editing the SAP. The first thing, log into Zapier, create a new folder, duplicate the templates, edit the, the first SAP, which is new lead, and copy the webhook and add it to the form in the pop-up in Converti. Then you need to make sure that you have the right Musen account by copy pasting the API key. Then you need to make sure that the subscriber is correct again. And you do the same with the new booking app. So if you have any questions regarding this one, in the top of the document, as you can see here, there's a link to the Slack channel. You can ask me, Harold, on Slack or the team leader that you've been provided with. Um, and with that, I wish you good luck.